Huh? What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 1986 movie, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Um, so this movie is, uh, directed by Toby Hooper, who had also directed the original 1974 movie. And in this movie, uh, a radio host, uh, named Stretch, played by Caroline Williams, is, uh, talking with these two guys and they're like going crazy they're drunk and stuff driving to Dallas for the OU Texas game and uh, Leatherface shows up and kills them while they're on the phone with her and she keeps playing the audio of the the murder over and over again on the radio trying to trying to uh, warn people about it and stuff and Leatherface and his brother Chop Top show up at the radio station and uh, to try to kill her and stop her from playing the tape and uh, they end up killing one of the other workers at the radio station and taking the body and she ends up following him and is joined by Lefty, the uncle of Sally and Franklin from the first movie who's wanting revenge for what this family put his niece through and for killing his nephew and uh, they, they arrive there and uh, Stretch ends up getting caught and is trapped with the Sawyer family while Lefty is trying to uh, make his way around their lair which is this old abandoned amusement park he's trying to find them so he can save her and get his revenge on this family um and you pretty much know how this movie's gonna go. If you've seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise, you pretty much know what to expect in this movie, but um, this is a really, really fun movie. I, I absolutely love this one. And this one is more of a dark comedy horror movie than it is just straight up horror, which Toby Hooper said the original was supposed to be a dark comedy too, which there you get little bits of it, but I, I never really fully understood what he meant by that, and nobody else ever has either. Um, but this movie, it, it goes full out uh, dark comedy in here, and I actually think it blends blends it really well. It has some pretty intense moments, but the, there's also just a lot of really funny stuff in here too. And the cast in here are all excellent. Um, Carol Williams' stretch is really great, and personally she's one of the best final girls in the franchise for me. Um, definitely a big step up from Sally. Um, there's maybe one other uh, character in the Texas Chainsaw franchise that I think is a better final girl, and I'll talk about her when I get to that movie, but I, I really like Stretch a lot. She's definitely one of the best final girls in the franchise, and uh, Dennis Hopper plays Lefty, and I, I know that he didn't like doing this movie from what I've heard, but I think he did a pretty good job for not liking it. Like he 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 uh, was convincing and stuff, and I liked him in it. I thought he was pretty good in here. Um, and then we got Jim Cito back as Drayton Sawyer, the or the cook, um, and he's really good in here. He's ten times over the top crazy and f uh, funny and stuff in this movie, and it kind of get his humor doesn't la always land, but he he's still really good in the role and it was great getting to see him back um, and uh, uh, Tom Morga and Bill Johnson take over playing Leatherface this time and I, I think he's uh, Bill Johnson I think is the main one that plays Leatherface he, he's good um, definitely not as good as Gunnar Hansen and Leatherface is a lot different in this movie he's more uh, kind of wimpy and hokey and I mean, he's he's weird in this movie he has this big fascination with stretch and, like there's this really weird scene where he's trying to hump her with a chainsaw that's just really stupid um, but he he's kind of got this thing for stretch and is trying to keep her alive because he wants her to be his girlfriend it's it's weird but I, I think Leatherface is fine in this movie he's not it's definitely not one of my favorite versions of the character, though, to be honest. I, uh, it's a huge 
step down from the original one. I will agree with anybody who says that the original Leatherface is definitely one of the best versions, and this one he's not extremely great in. Um, he's fine for this movie, though. Well, with the tone they were going for, he, he works for it, but I just like the original one better. Um, and then, of course, we got I gotta talk about the character, which I've been putting him off for a last because he's my favorite character in the movie and probably my favorite character in the entire franchise. I'm pretty sure I've said that before many times that uh, Chop Top, played by Bill Mosley, is just, he's amazing and as is Chop Top and he just steals the show. He, he's great in this movie. Um, I really loved him in it. And uh, the makeup effects and stuff on him are really awesome. And Tom Savini did the the makeup effects and the special effects for this movie and it it looks great and awesome. Like, like he never disappoints when he does the effects and stuff for, for horror movies and this one is no exception. He did really great on Chop Top's makeup and a lot of other scenes too and the scene when uh, LG, the, the other guy who works at the station and, and stuff, we find out that he actually somehow survived being killed at the station and he, Leatherface cuts his face off to make a face for Stretch because he wants her to be his girlfriend and he puts it on her and stuff and uh, LG happens to still be barely alive and is able to cut her free before her dying and stuff. And it's a pretty good emotional moment, which you don't really get very much in slasher movies, but I thought that was a pretty nice little moment and stuff, but like the, the makeup effects on him when he, you see him without his face and stuff, just very brutal looking and Tom Savini's makeup is just amazing in that scene. And it's amazing throughout all of the movie like I said it and this movie also has some really awesome sets and stuff the uh, the being set in a abandoned amusement park look makes it look really good and I, I think it it works really well um, but all in all I, I think that this is a really good movie there is one thing about it that I didn't like too much is that it rehashes the dinner scene from the first movie um, and it just isn't very good. Um, I don't really get why they had to rehash it. It wasn't the it wasn't terrible, but it just wasn't super great. Um, I didn't really like that about it. That, that's really my biggest complaint. If I had to say anything on this movie, um, but aside from that, I really enjoy this one. I think it's really fun, and if you go in not expecting to be exactly like the first one I think you can enjoy it the first time I saw this movie I didn't like it at all um, but every time I've watched it since then it's really grown on me and I really enjoyed it a lot the last time and this time uh, it's like I said it's probably my favorite in the franchise I, I don't know 100% I'll be doing my re-ranking when once I see the new one and get done with reviewing the other one so we'll see what, if this one still is my favorite or not um, but it is a really great sequel for sure and to me it's it's on par with the original as just being a really good movie so um, anyway let me know in the comments what you think of uh, of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 and I hope you enjoy this video and have a good day everybody